This sounds worse than the so, Watergate scandal. Well, it is. So, I mean, you have the secret services, you have the money. The governments themselves love this system because it allows them to snoop on the people. And you have the most powerful industry on the planet. So you can see why people are resisting cutting down the power and cutting down what they're doing. And it's probably worth... Uh, we know 3% of populations always become seriously ill from microbes. It may be worth <clears throat> the money and the advantages to the government uh, to lose 3% of the populations for the benefits that they are going to get. 3% of the population of the UK must be quite a large number. Well, it's, it's about 1.8 million. So 1.8 million people will be sacrificed so that they can snoop on everyone and, contro and, and take and, control of... And take in the money. Uh, I mean, a colossal amount of money. If you think, just the population of the UK, 60 million people, and we know we have 60 million cell phones... Mm. <clears throat> Imagine each cell phone, the bill is just one pound a day. Yeah. That's 60 million pounds somebody is making a day. And, and the bills will be much higher than that. I, I mean, yes. the, the, the money and the, the power you get from this is, is phenomenal. And in fact, if we go back 15 years... Hypothetically, yeah. if we could go back 15 years, <clears throat> if the government said, in any country, if the government said, we are going to make it law that every single person carries a little tiny box in their pocket, we are going to listen to every single conversation you have, every business meeting, every consultant meeting in a doctor's surgery, Every single word you say, we are going to record. Whether your phone is on or off, we have the ability to record. We're also going to monitor everywhere you go. So we are going to know everything you say at everywhere you go. Ah, but there is an advantage. Apart from paying us, which you won't like, you do have the ability to push a few buttons and talk to somebody. We will, of course, listen to it. There would have been riots. <laughs> in the streets yep. to say we are not having this but the marketing was so clever that it's gone out and people are paying them to do this the I mean you must admire them you know for the cleverness that, that it's gone out but this is the problem <clears throat> and of course they're addictive chemically addictive do, do they cause the release of hormones in the body or they the are or? Um, electrically the, the, the average person works on the lowest level of energy and if there is a telephone box half a mile down the road and you have a cell phone in your pocket the average person will pull out the cell phone and say well this one won't hurt me dong, 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 dong. hello Mr Smith rather than walk down the road yeah. so there is that, you become more lazy. The other addiction is that there are numerous experiments. I have pages upon pages of experiments where the microwaves going into the brain, they accelerate and, if you like, increase the natural rhythms of the brain. It's called entrainment. <clears throat> They actually accelerate the brain and excite the brain. And we know that a child that uses a cell phone for just two minutes, the brain is accelerated and not back to normal for two hours, around two hours afterwards. And that's wow. just for two minutes. Now you imagine a child in a playground at a school that spends 20 minutes on the cell phone. The brain is not going to be in a learning state for the rest of that period of the day in the classes. The child is probably going to be hyperactive, misbehave. And a general pain. And a general pain, yep. Those, <clears throat> and is that something you can see on the EEG? 
Oh so yes. You're going to see a change in the brain yeah. waves. And, and I, it, it is guaranteed. Um, I have pages upon pages of this type of experiment. It's so easy to do that most people in the, this research area have done it many, many times. And anybody, anybody can do this. <clears throat> Just don't expose your brain to any microwave cell phones or anything for a couple of hours. Take an EEG, take one from your heart, an ECG at the same time. Make a call for 10 minutes yeah. and take another one. And then see how long it takes your brain to come back to normal. You'll be absolutely amazed. The delta, theta, alpha, beta brain waves, you'll be amazed how long it takes them to come back to a normal state. This, this technology is truly frightening. Really frightening. Well, this and is why it, it's microwave weapons yeah. uh, were were introduced <clears throat> from the 1950s, 60s, 70s to the present day. Um, and this is another level of proof. They are so effective, if you're not in a hurry to get rid of somebody, they are so effective as a stealth weapon to yeah. beam somebody, and this is, has been done many times and it's recorded. Uh, you can beam people you don't like as a government to give them cancer, breast cancers, neurological illnesses. Uh, you can choose what you want them to get. You can choose? Oh, you can choose. <clears throat> you can choose which pulse frequency you want to affect the brain with. You can, uh, choose, you can choose the level of microwave irradiation and the speed that you want them to become ill. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's, it, it really is a perfect stealth weapon. And all you need to do is rent a house opposite someone you want to get rid of or a group of people you want to get rid of and just beam them. It, it, the most famous case during the Cold War was the Moscow embassy siege where in Moscow they beamed the entire American embassy and gave them cancer. Did they... Cause cancers in all the staff, or in, in a lot of the staff? Or? Most of the staff, the children, most of the children got leukemia. The women developed breast cancer. The gentlemen uh, developed cancers. I, I think after about eighteen months, the entire staff was changed, and then the following eighteen months, the entire staff was changed again. And by that time, people realised what was going on and they found that they were being irradiated by microwaves. And rather than say, oh, isn't this disgusting? What have we sunk to? They thought, isn't this wonderful? Let's develop this for ourselves. And governments today are still perfecting microwave warfare. Still to this day, they're working <clears throat> on the weaponry. Still to this day, 2010, they are still perfecting the pulse frequencies, uh, it, it's got very, very sophisticated. Um, the pulse frequencies, the, the, how long they can transmit, whether it can be one country to another, bouncing the microwaves off the ionosphere. So you don't even have to be in the same country. Bouncing the microwaves off the ionosphere, a, a lot of people won't have heard of this technology. You're talking about the harp. And you, if you have a super transmitter, uh, the microwaves, if you beam them, it's only simple basic trigonometry. Yeah. But let's say um, I want to bring uh, economic ruin to a country that grows all of the world's wheat. Right. <clears throat> okay. All I have to do is beam microwaves up to the ionosphere, which is like an invisible cloud around the planet, an iron cloud around the planet. The microwaves going up at a set angle will, will reflect uh -huh. off down onto this country. And if I continuously beam the wheat in this field, or the cattle, or the sheep, I can 
harm, I can reduce the immune system of the plants so that uh, they won't be healthy and they will die, and I can stunt their growth, and I can bring economic ruin to that country. I can harm all of the animals, the cows, the sheep. Uh, it, it's so easy to do. You only have to push a button, uh, and you can bring economic ruin to a country. Which countries have this technology already available? Is it all the countries in the world, or just a couple of them? It may not be a wise thing to, thing to say um, on a live broadcast, um, but you can take my word for it that I know at least two super transmitters in the world that have this capability, and there are probably more uh, in areas that I do not have access to uh, and I cannot go to, but I know there are at least two. I need to just go back a little bit. Now. Of course, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> back to your early days in the military. Mm -hmm. This technology was used by the British government. Oh, okay. Sorry. I see where you're going. It was, it was right. used okay. by the British yeah. government um, um, against terrorists. We groups. we have we have eight thousand three hundred papers. <clears throat> Um, I, I have knowledge of 2,300 myself. And what the governments found was that you could induce, by, by changing the, the pulse frequency, <clears throat> uh, like Morse code, of the microwaves going into the brain and interfering with the brain, by specialising on the pulse frequency, you could induce psychiatric illnesses to the point where a psychiatrist could not tell if it is a genuine psychiatric illness or an induced psychiatric illness. So what you can do, theoretically, is you can target an individual's brain they may have auditory hallucinations where they hear things, which, which is actually quite common with microwaves, <clears throat> or show signs of schizophrenia. For instance, 6.6 .6 pulses a second can induce severe sexual aggression in men. So you, you could induce somebody to commit a really horrific sexual rape. Um, so, uh, technically, what you could do is have somebody committed to a psychiatric hospital or a jail for a crime just by somebody saying that they had a psychiatric problem whereby they didn't. 